So the NBA has fined Charlotte Hornets guard LaMelo Ball $100,000 for offensive and derogatory comments in a post-game interview on Saturday. He did use an anti-gay slur. Um, what do you guys think of the fine? And then basically like the way athletes respond in post-game interview, because LaMelo is kind of known for, you know, speaking how he feels. So Mace, what did you think? Of what that? did he actually fine? say? He basically said, um, to who? Like the lady asked He's doing him a, a question. Post -game interview, yeah. And he said, yo, they, he said, I load it up. Yeah, <laughs> 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 and kept it moving, and they found him a hundred racks. <laughs> Just for that? Yeah. My goodness, the live world. television. The I remember is... Hubert did that. What's that tall dude from the from the Indiana Pacers back in the days? Hibbert. Roy Hibbert did that, and they found him. I'm about to find out how much they found him because he did the same situation. Oh my goodness. I mean, people got to be responsible for their words, but I think if you know these guys are playing, I think it should be taken a little bit lighter, actually. If you know they're playing, it's not like he said it towards anybody living a certain way. He just said, you know, he was joking. I blame myself, man. <laughs> I blame you too. Yeah, man, I really do, man. I blame the east side of Harlem. <laughs> you know, we got this in Jefferson Projects probably in 1996 when we were saying this. And before that, what the fuck? We was in school there. God damn, Tommy Fly. We did this a long time ago. And to be honest with you, this is why we started saying pause. Yeah. We used to say what Melo said, but we was like the people are sensitive. You get fined. You get fined. And that's why we don't say it anymore. But so nigga named Jello, tell your brother son, man. You know, <laughs> he started doing he started he, he started do the shit that I do. <laughs> what a full and, circle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Niggas don't know. Niggas don't know niggas, but niggas is using niggas slang and all that. I don't use that anymore, but I'm just saying, but <laughs> At the end of the day, look, let me break this down real quick. That was real petty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it from you. <laughs> so, but um, but I'll say this, it's just so people understand. It's not, and, and of course, you yeah, NBA, Adam Silver, and it's not going to be tolerated. Like I said, Stat just told me years ago, I don't even remember what year, because I don't know when I seen Roy Hibbert in the NBA last they fined him 75000 for the same thing in a press conference. I remember that shit because niggas was calling me, blaming me for that. Cam, look what the fuck you got niggas out here doing. Da, 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 da. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And yeah, finding LaMelo Ball 100000 does seem pretty excessive. But at the same time, we got to be held responsible for the stuff that we say, especially on live air. Like you can't go around saying no HMO and being a professional athlete and thinking that there wouldn't be no consequences for it. And, you know, I guess from a standpoint, since it's been going on in the NBA for so many years that they got to up the fine because, you know, players just keep on saying it. I know for me, it all started back in high school. You know, I got blamed Cameron and the diplomats for that. You know, it started for me back in ninth grade. You know, I've been saying it ever since. You know, uh, there used to be a forum called All Hip Hop. And every time somebody would type something suspect, you know, somebody would say no H mo to be funny. Then I kept hearing uh, Joel Santana and Cameron saying it, whether it was in songs, interviews, you know, them DVDs and all that. So it just caught on. So I remember being in science class, uh, Miss Temple, you know what I'm saying? I had her twice, long story, but for instance, I remember being her assistant and you know, dude had some balls in his hands and I was like, yo, let me see them balls, pause. Cause you know, I didn't say pause, but you know. But anyway, you know, the teacher asked me to get them for a demonstration. And you know, normal thinking mind, you'd be like, oh yeah, hey bro, let me see your them balls real quick. You know, you wouldn't think nothing of it. But you know, nowadays in 2024, you know, you never know, you know what I'm saying? So niggas is just trying to play it safe, that's all. But let me know how y'all feel about in the comments, the whole pause thing. Cause I remember Saucy Santana came out and said, he wasn't offended by it, but you know, one man can't speak for a whole community. But let me know 
because i admit it is kind of immature and you know we probably should stop saying it just like we need to stop saying the n-word but you know <laughs> we got a long way to go on that one but let me know in the comments and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe 